Hi friends, it's me. I hope you guys are doing good. I miss you guys. Um, I'm just checking in on you, seeing how you're doing, and also reminding you that not next week, but the week after is benchmarks. So I wanted to go over something with you, compound words that are kind of new. I know that you have been reviewing um, the contractions with Mr. Martinez, so we're going to go over some compound words, okay? So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at our first word, backpack. Is this a compound word? Hmm. Let's see. Back. Pack. If I were to hold the word up here in my hand, back, is it a word by itself and does it make sense? What about pack? Is that a word by itself and does it make sense? Well, let's see. Back. Everybody point to your back. Yep, that's a word. Back. Now, pack. Pack is like this. Let me grab something. Like a bag. A pack right? So, pack is a real word. Back, pack. So, if these two words by themselves make sense and they come together to make a new word called backpack, then it's a compound word. Because the words by, by themselves make sense and the words together make sense. When you put them together, it doesn't mean back, pack. It's a whole new word, and the whole new word comes out to be backpack, and you guys have backpacks, don't you? Here's my backpack. This is a backpack. 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 Together. Now, if I were just to say back, that's not a compound word because it doesn't have another word with it. Backpack has two words put together to make a whole new word for this backpack. Okay, I want to see where you would cut this word in half. So I'm going to show you the word, and Mr. Martinez is going to pause the video, and he's going to ask a student that's sitting nicely to walk up there and draw a line to where I would cut the word in half with my scissors if I were there. So, you ready? So I want to know who did this. So I'm going to ask Ms. Martinez who cut, who went up to the board and cut the word in half. I want to get back, of course. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to do it just like how we do in class if I were there. So I'm going to hold up the word that I wrote out, backpack, and you guys are going to tell me where to cut it. So tell me. Here. 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 Oh, here, okay, let's see if it works. If it works, it means that I can just randomly hold up whichever word I want and it will be a word that makes sense by itself. Okay, let's see. Back, does that make sense by itself? Mm -hmm. Back. What about this one? Does that make sense by itself? Yeah, a pack, something you put stuff in like or you can just say you pack your lunch, right? Same thing, pack. Okay, so let's put them together to make our new word, our new compound word. Are you ready? Back, pack, backpack. Okay, I want your hands up and we're going to do it together. Ready? And back, pack, backpack. One more time and I want everybody's hands up. Ready? Hands up and back, pack, backpack. Very good. Okay, let's move on to our next word, grasshopper. Grasshopper. Hmm, is that a compound word? You better think about it. Grasshopper. Are those two separate words that make sense if they were all by themselves? Hmm. Talk to your partners and use this sentence frame. It is a compound word because, or it's not a compound word because. So go ahead and talk to your partners. Okay, 
So let's see. Is grasshopper a compound word? Well, here it is. Grasshopper. Now, the only way it can be a compound word is if both the words make sense by themselves. So the only way I can do this is if I cut the word in half and see if both words make sense by themselves. So I'm going to cut it. Grr, no. Gra, mm -mm. Grass. Is grass a word by itself? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut that. Let's see. Hopper. Hopper, like he's a hopper. He likes to hop, right? He's a hopper. And grass, we all know what grass is. It's the stuff outside that you sit on at the park or in your front yard. So we have grass. Hopper. This is a compound word because grass is a word by itself and hopper is a word by itself. And when you put them together, it makes a whole new word. Grasshopper, that little creature. Okay, so who got it right? Raise your hands. All right, so I think you're ready for a little quiz. Now, I'm gonna try and trick you and throw in some words that are not compound words, but may kind of sound like a compound word because maybe it has one word that makes sense by itself and the other is just sounds when it's by itself. So let's see um, if I can trick you. Okay, so let's go over all of them, okay? Um, but first, did you talk with your partners about it? If not, go ahead and talk with your partners now, and Mr. Martinez can pause the video. Okay, so let's see. The first one, A, was crosswalk. Is this a compound word? Give me a thumbs up if it is, a thumbs down if it's not. Okay, let's see. I have to be able to cut this word in half. And both words that I cut in half have to make sense. Okay, let's try. So I know cur is not a word. Cra, no. Cross, yeah, cross is a word. Like, um, like crosses, like you cross the street. Or maybe some people wear cross necklaces, right? And walk is definitely a word. Because it's what we do. We walk every day, right? Cross, walk. Cross, walk. And those two are together. So yes, this is a compound word. Raise your hand if you chose option A. Okay, but do we ever stop there? No, we have to make sure that the other ones, um, we just have to make sure that the other ones are also not compound words, so you always have to go through all the options. So let's check B. My desk. Is this a compound word, yes or no? If you did this, you are very right. It is not a compound word because compound words, and if I got you, I tricked you. Compound words are words like letters together, like a word. These are two different words. These are two different words. This is not one word. They have a huge finger space in here. And that finger space tells me that this is a separate word and this is a separate word. Compound words are two words squished together. Are these two, two words squished together? No. So this is not a compound word. What about this one? letter. Okay, let's see. I have to be able to cut this word in half and both words have to make sense by themselves. So let me see. Ooh, no. Le, that's not a word. Let. Oh yeah, like I let my dog um, jump on the couch. Let. Okay. So let is a word by itself. Let's see if the other half is a word by itself. Tur. Tur. Is that a word? Mm -mm. If I just walked up to you and said, tur, would you understand that word by itself? Mm -mm. It's just a whole bunch of sounds, the t and the er sound. Not a word. So is this a compound word? Nope. Because both of these have to be words. This one is not a word. It does not make sense by itself. So this letter, nope, not a compound word, just a regular old word. Okay, so go ahead and circle the answer and cross out the wrong answers.
Okay, so let's move on to our next multiple choice. That's going to be the last one. So I need you guys to really try your best and talk with your partners and explain to them um, as if you were the teachers what the answer is, okay? So don't just say the answer is blank. You have to tell me what the answer is and why. So the answer is A because there are two words that make sense by themselves and when you put them together it makes a whole new word. Or the answer is not B because this sound is not a word just doesn't make sense by itself. So go ahead, um, look at these next three words and tell me which one is a compound word, which are not. And of course you're going to discuss this with your partner. So your first word is computer. Grandmother. Coffee. All right, take a look and talk with your partners. Okay, here we go. Um, co, nope. Com, is com a word? No. Compu, compu? Is that a word? No. Compute. Ah, compute. I know that word. Um, it means to like do the math on something. Like you want to compute um, 3 plus 3 plus 3. It's compute. Okay. Compute. That's a word. Let's see if the other part of it's a word. Er. Is that a word? If I were to walk up to you and say, er, would you understand what I was telling you? No, because it's not a word. So is this a compound word? Nope. Because this is a word, but this isn't a word. So not a compound word, just a plain old word, right? So answer A, cross it out. B is grandmother. Okay, let me see if there's a word in here or two. Grr and oh, grand, like you won the grand prize. Grand. Okay, grand. Grand is definitely a word. Let's see if the other one's a word. Mother. Is mother a word? Mhm. Mm yeah, like your mom. Mother. Grand. Mother. Grandmother. Is this a compound word? Mm -hmm. Because grand and mother go together to make another word. Grandmother. Like your grandma or your abuelita. Grandmother. B. But we have to finish. We have to see if the last one is a compound word or not. Okay, so the last one is coffee. Coffee. Hmm. So can I cut this word anywhere that would make sense if um, by itself? I don't think so, because I'm looking at it right now. I'm saying, can I do cough? No, cough, cough. Oh, cough, like, <coughs> well, cough, like, you yeah, have a cough, is not spelled like that. It's spelled with a silent G-H at the end. C-O-U-G-H. Oh. So that can't be it. Cough, no. What about this side? Fee, coffee, cough, mm, no. Not a compound word because these are all sounds put together to make this one word. They don't have, it doesn't have two words inside of it. So, not the answer. Sorry, coffee. Alright, so the answer was grandmother. Because grandmother had the word grand and another word, mother. Grand made sense by itself. Mother made sense by itself. And when you put it together, it makes a whole new word. Grandmother, like grandma. Right? Okay. So you're going to go ahead and practice right now with Mr. Martinez. Um, Francisco is going to pass out the whiteboards. Alexis and Indigo are going to pass out the markers. And I'm going to show you a list of compound words and you're going to write them down one at a time. Mr. Martinez will tell you when to move on to the next word. Don't erase. All you're going to do is write out the word. So if I list a word, um, schoolhouse, you're going to write it down on your whiteboard like I did. This is my little pretend whiteboard. And your job is to cut the word in half as if you had scissors in your hand. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this word in half with your marker. This shows me, or Mr. Martinez, that you know where the two words are at. 
you have to know that there are two words in it so that it's a compound word. So this shows us that there are two words in there by cutting it in half, okay? So when Mr. Martinez says, write the next word, and he's seen, he's, he's already saw like every one of your cuts, your lines, you're going to move on to the next word, and you're going to write it down at the bottom, and it's going to be the same thing. What about the word without? Let's see, without. You're going to write it down, and then you're going to cut it in half. Good. Then you show Mr. Martinez, and then you move on to the next word. Sound like a plan? All right, so let's have Francisco, Alexis, and Indigo go ahead, go ahead and pass out everything. You guys stay on the carpet and wait patiently. All right, I'll see you guys on Thursday. I miss you. Bye.